All right, so this is a Turtle Beach Recon controller for the Xbox, and I'm when my wife got me the Xbox. Um, <laughs> when she got me the Xbox, she also ordered two of these controllers, and we kind of went with these because I like wired. I don't like wireless. So I seen this, and I'm like, okay, fine, perfect. But it seems like I'm not sure if the um, the original Xbox controllers are only wireless. You know, I don't know. Um, or if they can be like dual purpose. But anyway, so I opened I, I opened the Xbox and I opened the controller and I got playing right away. I didn't even do like an unboxing or like a, oh, you know, first impressions, blah, 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 whatever. However, it's only been, when did you get that for me? Like mid-July. So it's only been two months. And yeah, I've been playing kind of hard, but still. And now the uh, left joystick is actually, it's like, I don't know what's going on with it, but it's very sensitive and it moves like down on its own kind of if you just like graze the fucking button like just or the joystick just slightly it starts moving down this is the controller I, I do have another one here and i guess like the big thing here is like i don't know they say here um what do they say hear everything defeat everyone i don't i don't know what the hell that is i did try this with the uh headphones i mean i mean it's just like plugging in the headphones i don't know what the deal is um but it is a nice controller i you know i like it these seem like a little annoying, but they don't really do anything most of the time, so I'm not sure what that is. But you can see some of this vibration, um, presets on there, mapping buttons or whatever, the headset jack, mic monitoring, I don't know what that is, and responsive controls. So here, I'm going to pop this open really quick. So, like I said, she got me two. And I am opening the second because, again, like, I don't know, I don't want to use the original controller yet. I have these, so... Nice box, I would say. Okay. All right, so it comes with this, which is what I guess the manual. Right, it seems like a waste of money, a sticker, I guess. Attention, carpal tunnel or something, I don't know. It's just like for help or whatever. They put that little, they wasted money with this. It's nice, but they kind of wasted money. This is it. Stupid. It has a nice weight to it. It's nice. Um, yeah, the other one, I have I have it here, and as you can tell, it's not really. Uh, let's clean that off a little bit. Um, the buttons are kind of dirty already, you know, like lotion and shit like that. It'll like eventually get in there. Um, see the joystick, but yeah, this one it seems like if I just like go like this, I mean like just barely touching it, right away like it starts moving down, and sometimes it's just moving down on its own in some of the game uh, games I play and some of the gameplays. Um, you'll see that it just seems like. All the time, like, the, the screen is, it's like the character, the screen, whatever, it's just moving out on its own slowly. And that's because this is fucked up. Um, but you see, as you can tell, the rubber seems okay. It's holding on. And like I said, we we do um, lotion our hands all the time. My wife, like, constantly putting shit on her hands. I do as well. So, you know, it does get stuck in there eventually. So it still looks good. But like I said, I don't know what happened with that one. So give it some time. So that's a new one. And what I do like about it, the only thing in the box is this. It's a nice, um, like a nylon or something like that cable. Um, I do like this. It's nice nice and heavy duty. But I do feel like it seems like it's tugging too much on the um, USB port. And then the cable seems like it's just like bent like this. So occasionally I do flip it because it's USB-C so you can flip it. But yeah, um, I do like the controller. These are kind of annoying. Like I said, they don't really do anything most of the time. I don't know if you can program. I glanced in there a little bit, but I didn't really you know, get into it or anything like that. I never use these. I do like it, and it seems like there's, like, so much going on here. These, um, I'll see if we attach a photo of how it looks when it's powered on, and then how it looks when you have, like, the, uh, headphones plugged in. Um, but, yeah, it's nice. Some lights here and stuff like this. I don't, I, I believe this doesn't light up. Just this little, um, LED here at the, in the middle. That, that, and then some of these, when you plug the headphones in, they light up, stuff like that. But you could control the volume here. Um, I don't do chatting and multiplayer and all that kind of shit. So it is a nice controller. I do like it. And like I said, the color, it's pretty good. After a couple months, it's still still nice. And my hands do sweat. Like, I, I do have, like, some sweat going on in my hands a lot of the time. Not all the time, but my hands do sweat, you know? So nice controllers. This, so this is the second one, and we'll see in a couple months... If that shit happens again, obviously, I'm not going to be able to fucking recommend this controller. It's something to be aware of and look out for. So, yeah, that's about it. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, we do a lot of uh, reviews, a lot of different videos, a lot of random stuff. So, you know, food, gaming, products, we buy anything like that. So, if you're interested, we have a lot. 
Um, if you did watch this video and you liked it, awesome, thank you. And if you are liking and subscribing, we really appreciate that. Take care.